Today we are solarizing the tiny homes. The tiny homes have been constructed this year and now we're putting solar panels to it to make it a fully efficient, effective, off-grid home. My name is Kanahus Manuel and I'm here at Nisqanlith Indian Reserve in Sukhwatmuk Nation. We come from one of the biggest territories in British Columbia, 180,000 square kilometers, unceded, unsurrendered territory. Trans Mountain Kinder Morgan is proposing is to put a, a new pipeline, twin an already existing pipeline, and bring it through our territory, crossing many different creeks and rivers and, and streams on its way to the Salish Seas, to the, the terminal port there. We're concerned about the risk of a disaster. We're concerned about our relatives, our brothers and sisters, and our Indigenous relatives in the north that are impacted by the Alberta tar sands. Being from a community that's impacted by tar sands extraction, the impacts are immense to our homelands. And I'm here today to demonstrate that we can utilize renewable energy, solar technology, empower our communities, and use the power of the sun to transition away from fossil fuels and we should utilize solar panels and not utilize more pipelines so we need to make this transition now. It was in Standing Rock that I saw tiny houses being built to block this development to stand up and resist against pipeline construction and it was from there that this vision evolved to building 10 tiny houses that we're going to put place directly on the path of the Kinder Morgan pipeline. We also have with us a Navajo brother that traveled up with his expertise on installing solar. He was at Standing Rock, you know, helping to install the solar there. And so we're happy to have him here and join with him to bring all of our skills together for a better world. You know, as far away as I'm coming from, we're dealing with the same threats to our communities and our environments as, you know, the community here and the people here. So we all share the same concerns and I think one of the benefits of us working together and networking is we're starting to build a collective knowledge. We know how to come up with solutions. We're seeing climate change happening every day and we need to act now to transition to renewable energy technologies away from fossil fuel extractions. And this is a part of showing that we actually need panels, not pipelines. <laughs>